Hello everyone, good morning. Oh, today, today, I'm just, I'm so nervous. I've got new things going on today. I mean, not new, but new. Basically, it's tax day today. I'm going to see my tax guy and I'm very nervous to see how much I owe, I owe the government for business taxes. I've never done that before, so uh, this will be a very new experience. Uh, you know, it's it's gonna happen no matter what, so why not do other new things as well and test out a new foundation? I feel like it's kind of new to the market and then also definitely new to me. Both of these products I did get from Octoly. I know it's been a long time since I've talked about Octoly because it's been a long time since I have gotten products from them. If you haven't heard about Octoly, I have done a video for them. I'll put a card up in the corner here and and a link down below and everything. I always have my referral link down below for Octoly, but the video up in the card will explain to you what exactly Octoly is. I mean, it's a website. This video is not sponsored. I'm just, you know, trying to explain to my viewers that are new here that haven't seen me do an Octoly video. And just in case you might be a content creator, it is for content creators on YouTube and it's completely free to sign up and join. And it just has tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of products. I mean, they have grown leaps and bounds since I, I mean, I started Octoly when they started, and it's just incredible how much the site has grown and how many new products and everything they have. So if you're a content creator and you want to get free beauty products to test out on your channel and everything, or, you know, it's not even just to test out. If you want to include it in a haul or something, you can do that too. You just basically make a pitch to the brand, say, hey, I want to get your product to include in my video for XYZ reasons, and then if they want to send it to you, they will, and then you review it for free. And if they don't want to send it to you, they won't. I've been rejected multiple times before. <laughs> but I requested the Bare It All Foundation, and then they sent me the foundation brush that they have as well. So I'm really excited to try both of these out. My thing, whenever I make a pitch to brands on Octoly, and like whenever I do sponsor videos in general, I always say, I'd love to review your product, blah, blah, blah. But my one like underlying condition is that I have to be able to give 100% my honest opinion on the products. So know that Pure is a brand that is a-okay with that and I think that's huge honestly because there are some companies that have said okay we're not okay with that so I'm just excited to test this out I've been getting lots of requests to do so but I don't really know much about the foundation so yeah I think we should definitely hop on over to Pierre's website read about it and the brush and everything and then we can get on into testing it on my face so like I said this is the pure bear it all four in one skin perfecting foundation it is new as it says here and it comes in 10 different shades anywhere from porcelain on over to deeper which honestly it doesn't look very deep especially once I scroll down on the page you'll see it on an arm swatch it does seem to cater mostly towards light and light tan kind of shades but you do get 1.5 ounce of product in this compared to the typical one ounce you get in foundation and it is $39 here you can see on someone's skin that has a fairly light complexion complexion it looks like and this is how deep the range goes so it's really not that deep like at all in the slightest <laughs> so that's definitely a heads up but the lightest shade does look decently light it claims to be a high performance 12 hour demi matte foundation to help cover imperfections and instantly perfect the skin while helping to correct problem areas over time so you can confidently bear it all it will not fade quit or crumble under any condition you may face throughout your day that is a huge claim. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things where it's like, are they just trying to sell me their brush? Probably, but it says that the best way to apply this is to use their Skin Perfecting Foundation brush by blending from the center of the face and sweeping outwards. And this brush of theirs is $28. It is a soft synthetic fiber brush that has a large grip handle and gives skin a smooth airbrush effect. And it looks like you put the foundation directly on the brush and then apply to the skin with long strokes. Everything sounds great to me. I'm really excited to try both of these things out. So let's go ahead and sing the song together and then we can get on into doing just that. Let's test, let's test, hot mess or the best. Get you zoomed in here. I have got like the world's hugest zit on my forehead. It is painful and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> but it's there, so I mean, okay. So I definitely have something to cover and some other things to cover, but typical spiel here that I always give during my foundation reviews and a lot of reviews just in general, but I do use a primer when I do these because 
because that's just the best method for me, keeping all of my variables straight and whatnot. And then I do also wear my glasses for these tests for the fellow glasses wearers of the world so that we can see how the foundation performs underneath the nose pads and also where our glasses tend to touch our face throughout the day. So the foundation, I got mine in the shade Porcelain. I really was not sure about which shade to get. For me anyways, I like to err on the lighter side of things. I feel like it's easier to make something a bit too light work than something a bit too dark work. But here's the packaging. It's just a nice, slim, silver squeezy tube, you know, pretty, pretty simple, but it's pretty. The cap is like really small. I don't know why. I'm just like not used to seeing caps that small, <laughs> especially not on foundations. I'm assuming it's a twist off. Yes, it is. There we go. It really is a squeezy tube in like the purest of forms. Ha, <laughs> pure. Here, yeah. <laughs> I love unintentional puns. Leave me alone. Okay, so we'll squeeze this out. Oh, it has like the tiniest little squeezer. Is that. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> oh, crap. I was supposed to use this on the brush. Okay. I, well, I did. <laughs> I, 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 I guess I'll use this for one side of my face. I brought out a normal foundation brush just so that we can see the difference between a regular brush and then the pure brush. So I guess I'll use this. Ooh. It's like very thick feeling. Like very thick, almost pasty. Ooh. Do you see that? How there's like a drag to it? Ooh. But I mean, it looks like it blends out really easily. I'm just not used to something being so draggy on the skin in terms of foundation. It's very strange. It's another new thing for me today. Oh, you guys, I feel like we have to disregard this huge zit on my forehead. <laughs> Oh, there's not much one can do for things like that. I feel like you really have to like push this into the skin based on the texture and everything. As of right now, it's got like an ultra matte finish, if you ask me. Yeah? I mean, it's not a bad thing at all, but very matte. Yeah, it does look a bit light on me, <laughs> that's for sure, but you know, definitely gave some good coverage on my face. So now I'm gonna go in with this foundation brush. I've never used one of these kind of brushes before, but ooh, very soft, like very soft. Let's see how plush. I mean, it seems pretty, pretty darn plush, and you can see, I mean, those bristles are packed. Super packed in there. Mmm, feels nice. Ugh, I feel bad getting this dirty! Okay, I don't really know how much to put on here. Let's do a swirly. Because why not? It kind of looks like an at sign, doesn't it? Okay, so start at the center of the face and brush outward. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'm kind of stunned at the moment. That's, that's, are all brushes like this? These kind of brushes? Where they just take your breath and your words away? Oh. A whole new world. Do you guys see this? <laughs> oh my. I mean, that's blended already. I mean, I just want to keep rubbing this on my face because it's so darn soft. But like, dang. So now I'm just gonna go over this side because I mean, feel bad for it. I'm so sorry you didn't get to experience this brush. Oh, 
this is a winner. And it seems like it didn't like absorb a ton of product or anything. Do you see that? Maybe it's just because it's brown so it's harder for me to see it. But my e.l.f. brush, you can definitely see it. But then like I said, again, the bristles are white. So maybe that's why. I'm so impressed with this brush. I put another like dot or two on here just so we can see if it covers this up. No. I didn't have high hopes, like I said. <laughs> Not much is gonna help this blemish. It's just kind of uh, something I'm gonna have to live with today and probably for a good week or so until it decides to leave my face alone. There's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good, you guys. It gave a really nice coverage like really nice. Definitely like a medium to full type of a coverage. I am gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. It's gonna be a super simple face today. I've gotta get going, but it will still be makeup and I will be back in just a second here on YouTube land to check back in with all of you all. Ready? Ding! All right, so like I said, super minimal makeup, but let's take a look. I think things are looking good, you guys. Except for my brows. What did I do? <laughs> They're such different expressions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's just the way that it's gonna be for now. Ew, okay. It doesn't look like it's doing great under the nose pads. It's pretty much gone already. And it does look like it's caking up on my nose. Especially in my nose crease. Oh my goodness. That's not cute, but oh well, it is what it is. So there it is. Hopefully once my oils and stuff coming through, that wasn't English, but hopefully once my oils come through and stuff, it'll help to make this look like it's got a bit more life to it. In terms of the flash photography, this has horrendous flashback, if you ask me. I mean, I look ghastly, like real bad, except instead of purple like he is, I just look plain old paper white. So yeah, like I said, I am going to get my taxes done and then I've just got a few errands to run and then I'm coming home, getting some chores done, getting some YouTube done, getting some filming done. I mean, it's a pretty like mundane day or whatever, but hey, it's days like this that make exciting days all the more exciting, right? That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself, so. It is currently 9.48 in the morning. I'll be checking in with you all whenever I need. If I need to check in in my car or something, I can definitely do that, but we will be seeing how this foundation does, and I will just be seeing you all on YouTube land in, I don't know, maybe a minute or so here. Bye. Dr. Pepper, you always do me right. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I am back from doing all of my errands and everything. I am so happy about my taxes. I mean, I'm not, but like, I like I don't think I've ever felt this happy to give the government my money. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is currently just about quarter after two in the afternoon. I got my errands run, I picked up a prescription, I picked up a bunch of new makeup from Wet n Wild and a couple other things to test out for you guys in the future. I went to the bank, I went to Target, I also went to Subway because I haven't eaten yet today. Hmm. <sighs> And I'm hungry, so let's get this done. Well, I mean, I won't be able to eat right after this, but let's get this done so that I can get my other two videos filmed that I need to film, and then I can eat. I'm so excited. So, the foundation. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Look at the steam on my glasses. It's not looking so good, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I think you can see this foundation is poo for glasses wearers. Like, completely poop -tastic. I think we can negate my big fat friend on my forehead, but my forehead doesn't look too bad, quite honestly. It's mainly around my mouth that I'm like, ooh. And I suppose my nose, too. Do you see this? Do you see this? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> um... It just kind of smears away. Or smears out. Uh, there? Question mark? Did that help? I'm gonna go ahead and use a blotting sheet. I really don't feel greasy at all, but I do look a little bit shiny and I just feel like 
this is about the time of day that I normally would blot. So that is one thing I can say about this foundation. It is very, very lightweight. Like I really hardly feel like I'm wearing any foundation at all. Also, I think it's doing a good job with grease control. I'm probably using the wrong side, huh? Yeah, okay. So, get this oil off of my face. Here you go, here's all the yummy yummy grease grease. I think I look a lot better, right? I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but I think that's gonna be about the best I can do for now. Like I said, I've got a couple of unboxings that I'm gonna be doing today, I'm really excited. One of them will definitely be going up before this video, it'll be my Sephora play box for the month, and then I'm also unboxing a FabFitFun box, and then I'm gonna eat, and then I need to vacuum, but before that, I need to upload a video, and then I need to edit, and okay, so I've got things to do. It'll probably be very boring in terms of vloggy bits, but they will be there as per usual. And yeah, as per usual, I will be checking in with you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye! It is currently just about quarter to midnight in the midnight. I'm about as ready to go to bed as my hair is ready to light on fire. Doesn't it just look like you could throw this in a fire and it would just be the best tinder, tinder, kinder ever? Kinder. Isn't that like kindling? It's just looking like a frizzy delight, so I hope we can all be okay with this. <laughs> my foundation isn't looking the greatest either. So, uh, I guess you want to look at that close up too. Get ready for pimple action, Wee! This pimple, I feel like I should call it a boil at this point. I mean, my god. <laughs> it's trying to say that nothing can stop me. Alright, boil. You do you. It says, oh, believe me. Believe me, I am. Here is my forehead. I suppose I can take my glasses off. Hang on. So as you can see, this just wore off super patchily around me, especially on my nose area, and then also around my mouth and on my cheeks, which is basically the entirety of my face, but especially around like my laugh lines and then on my chin, it looks horrendous. Just really not good in the slightest. And it's not like it just started looking like that. It's been looking like that for quite a while now, as you've seen in my previous check-ins. So yeah, I hate to say it, you guys, but I do not like this foundation at all, I don't think. Like, at all at all. I loved the foundation brush, though. Pure, that thing is magical. You did something right there. And the foundation, I don't know, maybe it would work on other skin that's not really oily. Based on how it looks on my chin in that little slight dry area there, I don't think this would be good for dry skin, so maybe if you have like normal to combo skin it might be worth a shot. To put it into numerical terms, I have got my paws system here to see if this is a product that you are going to want to get your paws on. P stands for price, A is for application, W is for wear and S is for shade range. So for price, I mean considering you get 
five instead of the typical one or even sometimes less than one ounce of foundation. For the $39, wasn't that what it was? 36, 39. It's really not that bad of a price considering the amount that you're getting. You know, Pure is obviously not a drugstore brand, so I do consider it kind of in the Sephora realm. Things like Too Faced, Urban Decay, that sort of thing. If five is the cheapest and zero is the most expensive, I'm gonna put it right in the middle. I'll put it at a three. Like I said, it's really not bad, but I mean, it's not like it's drugstore or anything. And for application, if using the Pure Brush, oh, so good. If you're not using that brush though, it was a little streaky to blend in. So I'll give it a four on application just because it is dependent on what tool you're using. Wear, I did not like the wear of this. I don't think like in the slightest. <laughs> I mean, I guess the thing that I like the most is that this is ultra lightweight. Like I really do not feel like I'm wearing foundation right now. And also I like that if you touch your face throughout the day, even with the greases, it doesn't make the foundation come off, at least not on your fingers. So I do have to give it credit there. So for wear, uh, I'll give it like a one and a half. Uh, and then for shade range, it's also not the greatest, you know, if you're somewhere between the light and the kind of medium tan, it's great. But anything beyond that, into the deep category, it doesn't even exist. So I'll give it two and a half. Yeah, maybe. So that is an 11 out of 20 or 2.75 out of 5 stars. <laughs> or paws, if you will. Do you like the foundation? Is that really tasty? It's kind of weird. <laughs> so yeah, not the greatest, I'm sorry to say. I'm still super appreciative to Pure and Octoly for sending this my way for review. Like I said, I'm extra excited about the foundation brush. I can definitely give that my super ultra thumbs up of approval. I'm excited to test that out with other foundations and just excited to have it and use it in general. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, I gotta be honest with you guys, the proof is in the product. You, you can see on my face, it doesn't look good. As always, I just hope this review was helpful and or enjoyable for you in seeing whether or not this is going to be a product that you are going to want to check out for yourself. If it was, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it and it would really help out my channel. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!